welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing great and i say about that if you're new here or you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe thank you first of all thank you so much for all the love that you've shown on my previous video i'm very glad that a lot of you are participating for the giveaway if you guys haven't seen that video yet or you wish to participate i'll put a link right here so you can go and watch the video and participate the entry will be closed on the 28th of September at 9.30 a.m. And I will announce the winner on the 29th of September. That will be my next video next week. So all the best guys. Today's video is going to be super quick. Uh, ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've been getting so many requests asking me to do a tutorial on how to wear a sari in Jaintia style. So today I'm going to do that and I hope it will be helpful to some of you guys and that you guys will like it. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing you'll need is of course a sari. This is my mom's sari. I don't have any sari of my own so I'm going to use my mom's and yeah, it's pretty. Uh, you're also going to need a matching sari blouse. Again, this is my mom's, so it doesn't fit me. That's why I'm going to wear my own top. <laughs> I don't think it will match, but it's okay. It's just a tutorial. I'm not going anywhere after this. And then you'll need a skirt. This is a skirt that we wear under a sari to hold the sari together. And correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's called a chicken. <laughs> Not as in chicken, 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 <laughs> but C-H-I-K-I-N, chicken. I don't know, uh, it's also called a scapa. <laughs> We're just gonna call it an underskirt, okay? So we'll need a skirt to hold our sari together and also act as a lining, I think. And the last thing we're gonna need are some safety pins and some, you know, you can use brooch pins or anything you like, so yeah. Let's do it! I had to change the camera angle so that you guys can see me fully for this tutorial. And I put on my top, my skirt, and also put on some leggings for the sake of this video. So let's begin! First, I'm going to wear my heels so that I can measure how much do I want the length of the sari to be. And I suggest you guys to do the same. So guys, take one end of your sari and wrap it around your waist once. Measure the length, how much you want the length of your sari to be and wrap it around your waist just once. Make sure you tuck it well and that's the first step. The second step, take the other end of your sari, that is the front end and wrap it again once loosely and keep holding onto your sari like this you're gonna measure the length how much you want the front of your sari to be and pin it there i'm gonna measure mine and then i'll pin it right here i'm gonna pin the sari along with the top that I'm wearing so that it stays together and I suggest you guys to do the same and yeah that's it two steps completed the most difficult part guys making the pleats so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this part from where we stop tucking in and then we'll go and measure where the pleats are gonna end and then we will form the pleats take this put it inside see where you want the pleats to be put it inside and then we'll go for another pleat I use my elbow to hold this part inside here and then we'll go for another pleat like this and then we'll Measure the same length as this one. Hold it there with the help of your elbow. And voila! That's your pleats. And then we'll tuck it in. 
like that. So that's the third step. I hope you can see. Okay, so after the pleats are done, you can see this is hanging out there and it's looking very ugly, right? So don't worry, we're gonna tuck it in from this part. We're gonna push it inside and then we're gonna hold it. And as you can see, these are the two pleats that I made. We're gonna wrap this inside there like that and pin it with the help of a safety pin and voila it's done so if you want to secure the pleats you can use a safety pin and pin it right there and that's it final you're done and i think it's looking good and that's it guys this is how we gentia people wear a sari and i think now all my non gentia viewers can also wear a sari in this style on their own um i just want to let you know that this tutorial is based on my knowledge only so if there are any mistakes please correct me in the comment section and i also want to know what do you guys think about uh, my tutorial i hope you guys can follow the steps and i hope this is helpful so that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time in my next video i upload every wednesday so see you next week and all the best for the giveaway Bye. Leave a like.